Hello, hello guys, it's Jelena from The Best Vinyl Cutters and I'm back again with another really awesome Cricut Design Space hack. So, what happens when you have a design that got so many different layers and you really just want to cut it on one mat? Right now I've got a beautiful rainbow and by the way, if you love this SVG, it is a freebie from our site so you can find the link in the description down below. But this file has got one, two, three, four, five, six, how many, two, four, five, six layers. That means that I will need to load up, cut and unload six times, which is a massive pain in the butt. And you don't have to. There are two ways that you can do this next tutorial. <laughs> And basically that was really bad English sorry guys but there was there's two different ways that you can cut all of these colors on one mat that's better so first of all what I want to do is just to copy my rainbow so I'm clicking on control C control B because I'm on a PC and I love my shortcuts and I'm gonna hide my one rainbow now right now my rainbow is all grouped up so I can't move my individual pieces and I would like to do that so I'm gonna click on ungroup up here in the in the top and now I have the ability to move all of my sections around. And now that I can move my sections around, I can place them on the mat where I want to so that I can cut them all on one mat. So let's say that we want to cut all of our pieces on one mat and we can start arranging our um, bits and pieces. So the trick is to keep in mind that you have to create blocks of vinyl and create a basically little puzzle piece sort of an effect here to cut all of your pieces and remember we can only go up to 12 inches or not even really quite up to 12 inches either so what I like to do is to try and keep my thoughts on clear lines I could even move this one down it might be better down here and have more space here so what I like to do is to think about using my solid, my bold lines as my guidelines rather than the little ones. So I would need to cut a black piece of vinyl that is three inches in width and two inches in height so that I can essentially pop my piece of black vinyl on my mat in this corner. And then I'm going to cut a yellow piece of vinyl and I would cut this piece of vinyl, let's say four inches to seven inches, right? So it's again three inches in length. And I would probably go two and a half inches because I like making it bigger than what I need just for in case. So I would go three and a half, three inches by two and a half inches. And then I'll pop my piece of orange vinyl on my mat from four inches to seven inches and then down to two and a half. So you basically have your black block here, your yellow block here, and then my green block here. But I like to, instead of putting it on the line like this, and then when I'm putting my green piece of vinyl, I have to like try and guess where to put it. I like to put my shape away from those solid lines, those bold lines, so that they're my guide for where to put my block instead. I hope that makes sense. And then remember to have enough space in between all of your sections as well um, because that just gives you a little bit of an area to play with. So you can space them out, right? And now we have the ability to set them all together in one group. Now, what we need to do though is to remember our different functions. If I was to select group and just put these all together in one group, I'm basically telling Cricut, I want to cut all of these things now. This is in one group. But I go to make it, it's going to separate it out into different layers in different mats. Okay. And I know that because when I clicked on group, my colors didn't change. And remember, Cricut cuts one color on one mat. So group is not the function we want to do here. What we want to do is to click on attach. And the way that I remember what attach does is I look at this little paper clip. You know what a paper clip does? Let's take six pieces of paper, right? Six layers, six pieces of paper, and we put them one in behind each other. We take our paper clip and we stick it on. Now our papers don't move, right? They're not glued together, 
but they are going to stay in that spot. So even though it's not stapled, even though it's not glued, they're staying in position. That's what your attach function does. And it means that by the end, our pieces are not glued together. So just like paper and a paper clip, we can take them back out and separate them back out again. So when you click the attach, you are basically telling the program all of these pieces belong together, but I also want them to stay in spot. So I might not be putting them like paper one behind each other, but it's still a matter of I'm keeping these, position, these, these pieces exactly where they are until I decide to separate them. But the power is mine, not the software. So I click on attach and I pop the paper clip in place. The colors all have now changed and that's fine. That's what needs to happen because now we can cut all of these pieces on one mat. But it's also going to um, keep the position in between all of my pieces so that when I go to make it, all I have to do now is to use my guide on the screen, which is this mat. I'll get my green mat out and my vinyl, and together with this on the screen, I will figure out how big a piece of each color I have to cut and where do I have to place it. Okay, so that's the first way that you can do that. And that's basically the way that I would do it if I'm working with a lot of layers. But there are other ways to do the same thing. So let's look at step number, another way to do exactly the same thing, All right? Here we have our rainbow, and I might show you guys a third one, which is the most time consuming, but it's still a way, so I'll get rid of that one for now. We have our rainbow here, right? And all we have to do to tell Cricut we want to cut all of these colors on one single mat is to actually make it one color. Okay. All right. So the second way that we can do this is basically just to make all of our pieces the same color, right? Straight up. So here we have all the layers, but we know that one color is cut on one mat. So we can basically say, okay, all of these are grouped at the moment. I haven't done anything to it yet. We go up to the color sync up at the top here. You see that guy, see that button there? And we click on that. And all you do now to make it one color is to click and drag. So you click and drag it into each of the um, black layers. And now we have just black pieces. So now when we go to make it, right, all of our pieces are automatically on one mat. We will need to separate out these layers though, because we cannot put different colors of vinyl this close together. It's impossible. So from here, you can basically play out your different layers. Let's say, do it that way and that way and position all of your bits and your pieces where you want. So remembering that I wanna use my bold lines as much as the guys I can. So I'm gonna keep, keep saying bold, the white four inch one up to the seven inch. So rather than having it on the line and then you need to try and put the block somewhere else. Try and think about how can you make your life easy here um, and then pop your pieces in that way, okay? And we're done. And you can click on continue and we can now um, grab our green mat and we can do exactly the same thing as the other one and start blocking out our different colors onto the mat. And I'll show you guys how I do mine in a minute. But before I do, there's one last way to do it. And this is probably the most time consuming way to do it. So again, here we have our rainbow, right? It's all grouped up together. We can go to make it. And because it's different colors, it's gonna put it on different mats, but you can still move things. You can still click on this rainbow. Three dots will come up in the top left-hand side. You can click on that, move your object and pick where you wanna move it. So we can move all of our bits and our pieces to the other mat. And then once we have moved them all, we can go back and again, reposition them out. As you can see, this is quite time consuming and this is frustrating when you could be doing something so much quicker. I personally prefer method one. I don't know why. Method two is really easy as well. So here we are again and again, all we have to do is to basically spread out all of our layers, okay? So let's just quickly do that. And then I will show you guys in the next little video how to actually 
um, cut your pieces and block it all. So what you will need is you will need this screen next to you when you work with your next pieces. So make sure that you have your device close by, whether it's your phone or your desktop. I find it easier on my desktop when I'm color blocking like this, um, but it's up to you. But you will need it close by because you're gonna keep on looking backwards um, to the screen, then to your green mat to try and figure out how big of a piece of black do I need and where do I put it? How big of a piece of, um, what was this color? I don't remember. You know, I might have to get your original picture out so that you can have a look at your colors as well. Um, but how big of a piece of your purple or your pink do I need? And then block it out. So then what you obviously need to do is go through your steps of connecting your machine, picking your vinyl, which could be adhesive or glitter or whatever else. So I'm not going to go through step, those steps right now, but I will meet you guys and show you how I color block my bits and my pieces. So see you guys in a minute. So you have a look at your map on the screen and we can see that the first piece we need to cut is about two to three inches in size. And I literally just use my mat and tidy up this strip. There we go. Sorry guys, just adjusting your signature to what I'm doing. All right, so about three to two inches for my word, which is little one. And now keep in mind that we need to pop this upside down in a minute. Okay. All right, and then we're doing our rainbows. So let me pop this on in place and we're gonna do the biggest piece which is one two three four by three four by three except we want to go a bit bigger than that so I might go four by three I might go around about there and I'm not being very precise as you can see I do have a trimmer and I could get my trimmer out if I so wish but um, I'm just not quite that precise so this one is supposed to go from around about five inches and three inches so we've got to go three inches across and five inches right let me just see what I'm doing. What am I doing? Okay, so it's three inches and from five inches in. So from here onwards. But of course, I want to go a little bit higher and lower than what I need to. Got shiny side down. Next piece is going to be this one. And it's going to go from three to six inches. So let's do three to six inches. And how big do we need this one to be? Up to four inches. Okay. So maybe it would be easier to just grab a trimmer. <laughs> anyway, guys, you need to do what works for you. This is easier for me, but I'm obviously not getting very precise edges, which maybe next time around means I am not going to get straight edges for my vinyl. Okay, we've got those two strips done. Now let's get onto the orange one or the yellow one, the creamy one. And this one goes from about three inches down. So we're gonna go down about there. And can you guys even see that? And it is one, two, three inches in width. So I need a bit more of this. You see how I'm going? Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so this one is just next door over here. And then we've got the next one from about seven inches. So see how we're creating a little bit of a puzzle piece here? 
This one is tiny, it's only two inches in size. I just wanna go a bit bigger than that though. And how long is it gonna be? Three inches, so let's go three inches again to be safe. And I'll go just a bit more than two inches. Okie dokie, and face down. And the very last one, which is a teeny tiny little one, and it's going to fit in this spot here. And so I'm just doing a very rough cut. Okay, and that's how I do it. As I said, you might feel more comfortable grabbing your trimmer or I've got a little bit over the edge there, so I'm just gonna trim that down. Um, or even just a marker and mark it. But the point of doing this is so that we can work fast. And this is how we cut multiple colors of vinyl on one mat. See, it looks like a little bit of a maze or a puzzle piece, okay. And there you go guys. So that is how we cut multiple colors on one mat. So I've shown you three different ways that you can achieve exactly the same thing, hoping that you found one way that works for you. So I typically like to just go with the attach method at the start, the very first one that I've shown you, but the second one where we change it all to one color is a very, very nifty way to do it as well. So have fun cutting all of those colors on one mat from now on. I think it's a fabulous time saving hack and I definitely do it a lot myself, especially when I'm working with a lot of different colors and layers. We have, of course, a lot more videos and tutorials and projects and ideas and inspiration coming your way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And we will see you guys again very soon. Bye for now. And that, lovely people, is how I go about cutting multiple colors on color. And that, my lovely people, is how I cut multiple colors on one mat. I hope that from the three different methods, you have found the one that kind of makes the most sense to you. So pick the one that you went, oh, yeah, I can do that. That's easy. That's, that's going to be the way for you to do all of this. And good luck trying out your first time cutting out all of those colors on one mat. I think it's a fabulous hack and it's a definitely a time saving tip. So enjoy. We will be back, of course, with more videos, more tutorials and more projects. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys again soon. Bye for now.